Hey guys, it's me, Miss Ludber, and I'm here to kind of get you started on the assignment um, for the plague and um, to kind of get you caught up on what the plague is all about and how it works together uh, with the Renaissance. So we're talking about Black Death, the plague, and I put together a... Mm, a 50 point assignment that is going to help you walk you through some things about the plague and then um, do some compare and contrast with the plague versus uh, coronavirus. So I think that it'll be pretty interesting. When you open up today's assignment, this assignment is going to take us two class days to work on it. So when you click this open, it's going to open up uh, into a Google slide presentation. Each person will have their own Google slide. And you'll just kind of go through the list of instructions and go from slide to slide. So bubonic plague versus coronavirus comparing the two uh, pandemics. So it says... Black Death, which spread from Asia to Europe in the 14th century, changed the world forever. At this time, it was almost impossible not to study the bubonic plague in conjunction with the coronavirus, another global epidemic. As you work through this document, your mission is to consider the answers to these questions. What are the similarities and differences between Black Death of the Middle Ages and the coronavirus of 2020? How does knowledge impact the way humans confront the virus. If you go on to the next page, it gives you the five different sections that we are going to be looking at with this, excuse me, oh my goodness, this particular assignment. All of these are hyperlinks and it'll take you right to each one of the parts of the assignment. So there are five sections, each one is worth 10 points, so a 50 point assignment. This one says, inquiry question, how does knowledge impact the way humans confront a virus? Watch the video and use it to respond to the questions in this Canvas quiz. So when you click on it, it'll take you to Canvas. You'll answer the questions and I'll get the answer almost immediately. Going down, uh, the next one talks about origins of the virus. There are two specific um, articles that we want you to look at, a timeline of COVID, and then origins of Black Death. When you click on these, you're going to be take. Uh, you're going to go to a Google Doc. You'll read through the article, um, and each one corresponds with two different um, timelines that we would like you to fill out. I started the coronavirus timeline for you with the fifth event that we want you to cover, and then you want to work your way back. Find four different previous events that can mark. Um, really historic times that uh, happen with the coronavirus. The same thing with the bubonic plague. Come up with five different answers, five different things that happened that kind of mark the transition of the bubonic plague. Please make sure that you include a date or time or some sort of specific uh, reference and then tell us a little bit about what that is. The third part of our assignment is to look at the symptoms and treatment for each of these viruses. This says, please read the two articles suggested here, and I've given you both of those articles, and then you're going to use those articles to help us understand these two different case studies. I want you to look at how a modern doctor would handle the situation, the case study, and how a plague doctor would handle those same treatments. So here's case study one, followed by case study two. You're going to type right in those boxes for us. The next part of the assignment is the spread. How do we spread information uh, from person to person based on the plague? And so this article gives us some information. And then your task is to look at how the media was helpful when there was an outbreak of the virus and how the media was harmful. So what kinds of things are helpful when, we, when it comes to spreading information and what things are maybe not as helpful? Finally, last but not least, we're gonna talk about the lasting effects of the virus. Also again, two different articles that you're going to look at and you're going to look at a flow chart or the lasting effects of both Black Death and then the coronavirus. So what are five things 
typing right directly in those boxes, what are five things that were lasting impacts of the Black Death? And what do they anticipate being five things that will happen, uh, that will live on um, after we see that maybe the coronavirus die back a little bit more? So uh, obviously this is gonna take you two days to do, so make sure that you kind of adjust your time wisely. Um, and if you have any additional questions or concerns, make sure you get a hold of Mr. Herman or myself. Thank you.